Driving on the interstate, you've probably seen a truck's underride guard and well, really wonders what it does. It's this metal bar right there in the back of the truck. It's supposed to save your life by stopping your car from going completely under the truck if you rear end the trailer. But 250 people die in this type of crash every year in the U.S. Investigative reporter Amanda Smith learned this essential safety feature hasn't kept up with the times. To make underride accidents survivable, trucks are required by law to have underride guards. These laws were last changed in 1998 to make the bars lower and longer. Car designs have continued to change, but the underride guards have stayed the same. State police describe what happens when an underride guard fails. And that vehicle goes underneath that impact guard and goes underneath the rear axles of the uh, trailer, and that's when we got have a serious problem. Even though this underride guard has evidence of damage, it still meets federal safety standards. Some safety groups want to make those standards even tougher. These videos from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety show what happens when a newer car crashes into a semi-trailer. Some underride guards can lessen the collision, but other accidents would have killed people in the car. The problem becomes worse when the bars are damaged or in bad shape. I'm going out into some of the heaviest truck traffic in our area to see what kind of condition these underride guards are in. I found underride guards in many conditions on the road. Bent, rusted, and some of them have been cut off altogether. These underride guards might not work the way they're intended. About two dozen of these crashes kill or hurt people in our five county area every year. Officials say not to rely on the underride guards to save your life. ICC bar really is not going to protect you very much. That is a stationary object when struck and it's gonna cause severe damage to your vehicle or injury. The underride guard has the best chance of being effective if you strike the truck head-on instead of trying to swerve to miss it. Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates.